Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my review for Paranormal Activity 3. Of course, this is Gore's Month of Horror number 12. Let's get straight into this because I really want to talk about this film because I love the Paranormal Activity series. I really do. I love the first one, love the second one. I think it has great suspense, great scares, great cast of characters in my opinion, great acting for, you know, for people that aren't really actors. I, that's just my opinion. I know many people don't think that, but that's me. Okay, I really like those two films. So I was really looking forward to this one. Let's talk about it because this is actually a prequel to both of the other ones. This is a prequel, so that means it's a prequel to Paranormal Activity 2, which was also a prequel to Paranormal Activity 1, which, yeah, so it's a pre-prequel, this one. N not Paranormal Activity 2. It, th this is the pre-prequel. The other one was prequel. I'm guessing the next one will be a pre-pre-prequel, right? Yeah. So anyway, this is a pre-prequel to the first two, so that means you follow the two main characters from the first two films, except they are young girls. Uh, Katie and Christy, they are young girls who are getting tormented by a spirit, and this is pretty much the origin story of that, because in the first two movies, they're getting torment tormented by a spirit. This one, it's pretty much the beginning of that. Uh, it starts off as pretty much like an imaginary friend, then it goes to freaking things thrown around and people freaking getting thrown about and dragged and all that stuff. So, let's talk about the actual film, okay? Let's talk about the acting first. The acting in the film, I didn't mention this before, but it actually follows more, not the young girls, but more of the new parents in the film. You got the mom of the two girls, and you got the new boyfriend of the two girls. Well, not, not the girls, the mom. You know, the, the new stepfather. So, I gotta say, I really like the stepfather. Whoever played him, his name is Chris Smith, never really saw him before. He's a great actor, I really liked him, he's a very likable character like him a lot. He also has a friend in the film played by Justin Ingram named Randy. Uh, by the way, the stepfather's name is Dennis in the film and the mother's name is Julie. So, just to throw that out there. Uh, you have a friend in the film, uh, friends with uh, the Dennis character in the film, and he's played by Dustin Ingram. He's really good in the film. Uh, the two young girls that actually play uh, Katie and Christy in the film are actually really good. I was very you know, worried that they were going to be bad in the film, but they're actually really good. So, overall, the cast of characters, just like the first two, are great. I really like the cast, actually. I would say these are my two favorite, uh, I mean, my two favorite, my, uh, my favorite cast of characters in the whole series. Um, I really like that main guy, the step, the stepfather, new boyfriend to the, uh, Julie character. I really like him. I really do. Everybody else was really good. I really liked him, though. He, he stood out. Now, talk about the acting and the story, and let's talk about the real thing, the scares. Let's say this. I really like the first two. If you do not like the first two, you think they're not scary at all, you are not going to like this one, because it is that times ten, really. So, if you really don't like those kind of scares where it's just like, oh, the camera's, oh, it's panning over there, what's over there, oh, let's go back here, oh, man, look at that, that ghost, okay, let's go back here, okay, oh, 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 oh he's gone, oh, now he's close to the camera. Yeah, you know, if you don't like those kind of scares, then you, you're not going to like this film because it's really times ten of that. There's a lot of that, uh, but to me, it creates a lot of suspense. It's like, oh, God, what's going to what's gonna happen? Oh, God, oh, oh, no, 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 no. So it's like, it really creates suspense. Uh, it's very creepy. I really like the cast of characters. It's very scary in this film, and this is actually the shortest one of the three, and it actually makes me, it made me jump more than the other two, and it gave me better characters than the other two. So this one's shorter, leaner, scarier, and more interesting with the characters. I really like Paranormal Activity 3. Uh, the two that directed this film, I can't remember who directed this because it wasn't the same people that directed the first two. Um, but I know they're the ones that made Catfish, which is a really good film. Definitely go check that one out. And that was all about real stories, and that was, of course, a, ha a handheld camera movie, too. Uh, but that one was real. This one's obviously not. But they do a fantastic job. There's so many creepy scenes, so many really, really good characters, really well acted, really well directed. I really enjoyed this film. I thought it was great. I'm going to say there, very creepy. Definitely check it out if you do like Paranormal Activity, because this is definitely the best one. So I'm going to give it a 35 out of a... Uh, 40, yeah. So 35 out of a 40. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to go .5 on that. Yeah, 35.5 out of a 40. I haven't do, done a .5 in a long time, so there you go. 35.5 out of a 40. Whatever that is on a 10 scale, that's what it is. It's a little bit less than a 9. So 
There you go. There's my review for Paranormal Activity 3. Thought it was great. Definitely, definitely my favorite of the three. Can't wait for four because, of course, this is going to make money. And it's going to be a fourth one. No doubt. So anyway, there you go. There's my review for Paranormal Activity 3. Hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, whatever. I don't care. Anyway, thank you and goodbye.